guys what's up my name is natalie welcome back to my channel nat's bookshelf or if you're new here welcome to my kitchen uh we don't usually do stuff like this here and i know the camera angle is a little odd but we're gonna be making christmas cookies and talking about some of our 2023 or my 2023 reading goals and maybe like what I want to read, how much I want to read. We're just going to chat and bake cookies and it's going to be a grand old Christmassy time. <laughs> I've already got most of my stuff portioned out and everything. I'm going to be making Christmas pudding cookies, which I've never heard of, but they're supposed to be incredibly soft. And honestly, I bought some like toppings, kind of jazzed up a little bit. And we're just gonna get into it. off these little white chocolate chips that I did not put in there so yeah now that the cookies are in the oven we're just gonna talk about some reading goals this probably would have been a very short video just talking about my reading goals what I wanted to read get to all of that for 2023 so I found a way to spruce it up a little bit with some cookies y'all got to see some of those um I think that I want to set my reading goal next year to be to read more books than I read this year. So far, as of today, the 7th, I am at 82 books read for the year. So my end goal is to get to 85 for this year. It's only three more books. I'll probably definitely do that. But I think I'm gonna set it at 90. I don't want to quite do 100, but I want it to be more than I read this year. So I think the goal is gonna be 90 books for 2023. I also am doing a challenge next year, 12 books recommended by 12 friends. I went on to my book club and I have 12, well, 11 very heavy topic memoirs to read from and one that is just heavy topics and that is all the ugly and beautiful things by I don't remember the author but I'll put a little thing right here and I'll also post the template of that so you can see all those that I'm planning on reading I'm gonna do one a month just in the order that it is and I'm also planning on doing Kayla's buzzword challenge 
and I think I'm actually going to try to read two for each of those prompts. So I put them in a Goodreads list of the Buzzword Challenge 2023, and I'll do a quick screen record and put that over here as well. So those are all books that I plan on getting to in 2023. As for the rest of it, y'all know I'm a mood reader, but so I can't really say what I'm going to be reading. You know some of my most anticipated from this year that I've already talked about that I still want to get to next year. I think I have a video coming up of 2023 releases, so I don't want to get too much into that. And yeah, guys, my reading has been so sporadic this past year, and I really just want to get back on track. So I'm really glad that I started back this YouTube channel again and started doing it and actually like sticking with it. That way it gives me a bit of, um, like, I feel like I have to read to have something to talk to you guys about. <sighs> My kitten wants outside, but she's not going outside, but she's going to keep meowing. So if y'all wonder, that's what that is. But, back to 2023 reading. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much all that I know of right now for, like, goals. I do know um, that I think I'm going to set it at 90 unless I somehow hit 90 books this year. And then maybe I'll set it at 95 next year. I really want to focus on some memoirs and nonfiction next year. Psst, psst, psst. Stop it. And... Yeah, I really want to do the buzzword a thon. Not really a read a thon anymore. It's more like a challenge. Uh, I am having a goal to try to participate in a read a thon every month next year. That's another thing that I'd like to do is find at least one read a thon each month that I can participate in because it really helps. It's really good with my book club too because they do stuff every month. So, you know, we be booking, we love you, but yeah, so that's always a good thing, and yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be about it, um, and we're gonna go check on some cookies, and then I'll come back and update y'all again. So, I guess nobody said they were going to be pretty, but here are my Christmas cookies. These ones got little snowflakes in them. My white chocolate burned a little bit. They kind of look like marshmallows. It's kind of cool. The toasted coconut looks amazing. And these are just like winter wonderland sprinkles. But yeah, guys. We'll try them here in a minute after they cool off. Alright, guys. Time for the taste testing. Let's go in with the most Christmassy one with the snowflakes and stuff. Mm. Mm -hmm. These are going to be so good with milk. Mm. They may not be pretty, but they are delicious. Alright guys, that is it for this bake cookies with me talk about books session. Um... I hope you enjoyed it. It is a little different, but I try to make it a little bit more exciting for you guys. And if you liked it, remember to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button with the little bell next to it to be sure to get all of the videos that I post. And I am posting every single day this month. And yeah, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.